you doing? This is Luke from the George Mason basketball team. Just want to wish everybody a happy holidays and a happy new year. Make sure everybody's safe and I uh, hope they have a great holiday. Alright, listen up fellas. This is it. Alright? Second conference game. Ready for brand new year. We gotta start it off right now, alright? Go out here and get a good warm up on, alright? Break a sweat. Focus on your layups, alright? All right. Let's go. Get some layups. Everybody get, get some energy, in. man. We too dead right now. We gotta get some energy, alright? Let's go. Let's together on three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Together!
back here at the Patriot Center. The Farm Bureau Insurance postgame show continues. It's a happy Patriot Center as George Mason gets the win over Old Dominion 71-55 here today. 7-6 now overall and 2-0 and oh in conference play. And that's the big one, Rick, because you beat an Old Dominion team. They're now 9-5. and five. They dropped to 1-1. One and one. So you've picked up a road win, which is always important against North Carolina Wilmington, and you've picked up a victory, albeit at home, against a team that was picked number one in the conference. Anytime you book those top those wins against the top pick teams, it makes you think down the road, hey, you know what, this team may have something. I tell you, it's amazing the competitive nature of the of the conference games. And you look at teams as they prepare themselves for the conference schedule. Mason with the win against Indiana. Uh, William & Mary with the win against Georgetown. Uh, 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 Maryland. Me, uh, Old Dominion with the win. Maryland. Old Dominion with the win against Georgetown. Uh, and I think what happens is that then not only does it allow you to get better as a team, but then you come to conference play and, and you're well prepared for your opponents. And as you said before we even broadcast today, Bill, there is no surprises. You know exactly what's yep. going to be laid out by every single team that you play in CAA play. Thanks to everybody for listening today. George Mason, next in action Monday night here at home against Hofstra. We hope to see you there. We've been uh, bringing you the broadcast today from the Patriot Center now, and Mason, again, back on that winning streak here at home after dropping the game to Dayton. They now go to 5-1 and one here in this building. They are 32-2 and two over the past three years here at home. Next one, a Monday night against Hofstra. Hopefully you'll join us here at the Patriot Center. You've been listening to George Mason Basketball on the Leopard Sports Radio Network.